So my mom used to come up with a story that she would tell me and my sister. Now we were young, so we believed it, right? You're my mom. I have no reason not to believe you. My mom used to say that what my grandfather or her father would do is in order to punish her, he would make her take baths. But then he would make her do things with the soap and use the soap sexually on herself. The problem was, is that no other sister of my mother's could, could confirm this with herself and he would watch and then pleasure himself as my mother did this. This was her punishment. So every time she lied, there was time to go to the bath and use the soap. But it didn't stop there. As the years progressed, as she got older, so she was a freshman in high school. So this, this has been going on since she was nine years old. Freshman in high school, so you figure 14. She's starting to mature a little bit. Now he would make her touch him. Right? She does something bad. She's 15 years old, 14 years old. Now her punishment is she touch him. This is just, just I understand the story is hard to hear. It's my mother, believe me. My niece knows about it. My sister knows about it. My father knows about it. I'll get into who knows about it later, and that will tell more of a story, paint a bit better picture. So 15 years old now, it's no longer the soap. The soap is my grandfather's uh, penis, right? This goes on for years, and then um, my dad comes into her life, okay? So she's had boyfriends during this time. My dad finds out, okay? She's 16, 17. Finds out, says something to the grandfather, my mother's father. And uh, it got to the point where he would uh, penetrate her as well, right? So he would, for lack of better terms, <clears throat> rape my mother, right? The problem was, is none of the other sisters experienced this. So was it the hatred that my mother had? She didn't call the cops. She didn't try to do anything bad or, or, or good, I guess, in a sense, to fix that. It was just telling the story as to why there's so much hatred there. <clears throat> so, I have never told this story. So my father finds out and my father confronts my mother's father, my grandfather. They get into a fist fight in Bayville, New Jersey. My grandfather beats the shit out of my father. My father's a good fighter, though. That's because he used like a, a, a pipe, a lead pipe. Like think about plumbing pipes with the metal pipe with the little anchor on the side, right? My dad was beating him. He grabbed this thing. Uh, again, this was um, confirmed. This is authenticated. Uh, my grandfather's on the ground, grabs a pipe, hits my dad in the head, and beats the shit out of him on the ground. So, uh, now my mom leaves. My mom leaves. She's out. I'm out. I'm going to go live with my dad. Uh, so, let, let me, now let me fast forward to when we're 15 and 16. So, Aunt Carol, that's the crackhead one, would come see my mom at Old Bridge. Now, me and my sister there were hanging out. I would, I would live there. I didn't like my father very much, different things entirely. Um, I, li I like living with my mom. I had more freedom. I had more girlfriends. I'd be able to, you know, bang my girlfriends in the living room, whatever. My mom was crazy, right? She was like me, but a uh, female version. Um, so it was just cooler, right? But it got to a point where Carol would come by and then my mom would tell the story to Carol, trying to refresh her memory because there's four girls living in the house. And Carol was very close to my grandfather. So that, nah, I don't, I don't believe that. You know, I, I don't believe that Kathy. I don't know way. I don't believe it. My mom's like, I'm telling you the truth. And they would get into arguments. And eventually Carol was staying there and she ended up leaving because they got into arguments about that. Right. Now my aunt Paula was never close to my mom. That's the religious nut. You want you think Jesse's bad. Talk to her for 10 seconds. Jesus is right next to you right now. He loves you. He touches you. He's he's with you all the time. That's my Aunt Paula. She is a nutcase. Thinks she talks to Jesus, whatever. That's fine. But if Jesus is responding, you're on different planes, right? Different levels. So fast forward again. Carol ends up leaving. And um, 
we're going to fast forward a couple of years. My mom's now dying, right? She's got the cancer. She's got the AIDS. It's eating up her insides. My grandfather starts to come around. My mother says, listen, I don't want you around. Tell mommy what you did to me growing up. My grandfather's like, what are you talking about? Now, the grandmother's like, no, 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 nothing happened. I don't know what you're saying, right? And my mom never told my grandmother, right? Never told her. So my mom says, while she's dying, not on her deathbed, but while she's dying, she says, uh, Dad, tell, tell mom what happened. What did you do to me? What did you do? Now, Aunt Carol's there. Aunt Brenda's there. My mom, my, my grandfather, my grandmother, Dave. The only one that was not there was Paulie, um, for whatever reason. Uh, again, she's not she's not on her deathbed. She's just dying, right? She's got cancer. She looks sickly. Uh, and that's the picture I showed you guys. We're all standing outside on the road. Those of you that remember it, the whole family on my mom's side, just outside. There's like 30 fucking people in the picture. So uh, my mom starts to tell the story of what happened with the soap. And I'll, I'll never forget this. My grandfather's like, shut up. I know where you're going with this. And my mom says, how do you know where I'm going with this if none of this ever happened? And then my grandmother kind of has a rude awakening and is like, wait, what happened? And then my mom tries to say something uh, more. And my grandfather takes his hand and puts it over uh, her mouth. Not to like suffocate her, but to shut her up. Now, you have to realize that I'm... I, you know, I, I, I'm, I don't know, 17, 16 years. I, I don't, I don't remember my age, 18. I, it was prior to the military. So I don't know, 18, 19. And I'm, I'm not going to get involved and hit my grandfather when that's her father. So I, like, I want to naturally protect my mother, but he's obviously trying to shut her up. And then they ended up leaving. That was the end of the conversation. There was nothing else to be said because he, he put it, he said, let's go. Everybody in the truck, we're leaving. They all get in the truck, they leave. The whole fucking family fit in there. It was like 20 people in that suburban or Escalade, whatever, excursion. I don't know. Um, and then my mom's crying, you know, sad because she wants to get that story out and tell her. So uh, next day rolls around. My mother tries to call the house, my grandmother's house, to get my grandmother to pick up the phone. She tells the whole story to my grandmother. It's bullshit. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. Nothing happened. Fast forward. Fast forward uh, three months. <clears throat> Six months. My mom's on a first term of hospice. Hospice is like... Uh, uh, Hospice is where you go to die, right? Um, so first time my hospice, she actually made it out. She didn't die. Uh, but my Aunt Brenda comes by, and she's sitting with mom on the bed. You know, everybody thinks she's going to die, including the hospital. And she's like, he did it to me too. And my sister said to my Aunt Brenda, why didn't you say something when mommy was trying to say something back in East Brunswick at the house? And she's like, I didn't want to be, you know, outcasted. I didn't want to. I didn't want to do anything. I didn't I didn't want to lose everything that I had. My mom let that go. When she got out of hospice, she tried calling again. Because she just wanted her father to confirm what he did. To come to terms with it. Not like she was going to call the cops or get him arrested. Right? Just to come to terms and just say what you did to me. Like a victim approaching their um, attacker. He admitted to the soap thing. He did not admit to the penetration. He did not admit to the molestation of the rape. Fast forward. My mom dies. My grandfather tries to show up at the uh, at the wake. <sighs> Now, knowing that he had admitted, nobody on his side knew that he admitted. It was just my mom. That's it. Fast forward to my mom's uh, funeral. He was like, um, 
he was like, uh, I'll help pay for everything. And me and my sister ended up coming up with all the money. I, I don't remember how. I think I sold my Honda Accord. So he tries to come in and he's like, yeah, I'll help pay for all this. You know, um, I'll do all this. Now, I knew that it was true based off of at least the soap story was true. Not so much the penetration, but I don't think my mom would have lied about that for so many years and carried out that lie because she had nothing to gain. But she wasn't seeking money. She wasn't seeking anything. She just wanted confirmation that he was a piece of shit. But he did it to Aunt Brenda, who also died as well. She went into the hospital for uh, a toe infection. or No, she went into the hospital because she had um, a UTI. True story. UTI. This was uh, back when I was in Edison. And she never came out and she died. True story. She went in because she was, you know, a urinating problem. UTI it was literally UTI. Stayed for six months and died in the hospital. All because of the UTI. True story. So, well, everything I'm saying is true story. I don't need to validate it by saying that it is. Uh, so, at the funeral, he came in. He did. I, I didn't want to speak for my mother, even though she couldn't speak for herself, because obviously she wasn't alive anymore. But it is his child. Regardless of what he did, I am not the person to judge him. Of course, I could judge him internally. But he was a piece of shit. Even if just the soap thing is true, he's still a piece of shit. So that's a story between my mom and a father. So that answers your question, Shannon. Um, and it got to a point where Alicia would always bring that up. That's my sister. Would bring that up to my grandmother because she never came to terms with it. She never believed it. I guess she's still alive, but the grandfather's dead. He had dementia. He was saying weird shit. He was calling Alicia Johnny, which was my birth name. Um, <clears throat> so that's the relationship with the, uh, maybe that explains the, the man problem. Being accepted by the father. It's kind of sad. You know, we all... <clears throat> We all, when I said we all, I'm talking about uh, my brother who I don't talk to. He's a piece of shit. Uh, my brother, but he's a half brother anyway. So same mother, different fathers. We could just grew apart because I beat the shit out of him as a kid. <laughs> so he just doesn't like me anymore, which is fine. I, I don't care. I'll get over it. Um, half brother is not really a brother at all, right? You're just somebody. But we all just kind of shook it off because my mother would fib a lot. Right. She would lie about uh, we just were we were used to our lying. We even thought when she had uh, AIDS or HIV it was a lie. Right. Breast cancer, we thought was a lie. So we just kind of shrugged that off. Uh, but as my mom told the story, she never really wanted to inform me and Alicia the whole story because it was that graphic. I'm sure there's much more to it than what I just told you. But I only know with what I could have figured out if it was today's modern day and I knew about this now. I'd get the information. Oh, I'd get it. I'd get all the details. I wouldn't call the cops. I wouldn't do any of that. Mm -mm. Let God judge you. But uh, you're a piece of shit. And I'd get all those details. But we didn't believe her. Because I, I, I don't want to say we didn't believe her. It was just such a far-fetched story. You know, you like... Well, I don't know about hearing this in newspapers because it's, I, I don't even know if there's any movies that depict that type of, uh, especially with the soap. And I don't know about anybody else, but soap uh, back in the 60s and 70s wasn't quite hand soap as you know it today, right? Gives a little bit more of an image for you. Uh, but it's a piece of shit. And in the back of your mind, every time you talk to him, so you thought about was, did you really do that to my mother? But once we heard the thing from Aunt Brenda, where she confirmed it and said that 
He did it to her too. How many of the other sisters did he do it to? 